Um, I'm a mom of two with one on the way. I'm from North Carolina and a craft blogger on Instagram at Making With Mommy. And for the last couple of months, I've also been a brand representative with Plan Toys USA. And I'm really excited to be collaborating with them on this project with their Victorian dollhouse. If you're new to Plan Toys, it's a wonderful brand. They make open-ended, beautiful wooden toys and then everything about their brand is sustainable. So they work with sustainable wood, uh, non-toxic paints, um, sustainable packaging, and my kids absolutely adore their toys. We are gonna be working together for the next couple of months to remodel and sort of jazz up their Victorian dollhouse. Um, I'm looking to kind of create something that will be a piece that all three of my kids can play with for a very long time that feels fun and personalized for them um, and that I think will be a ton of fun. We're gonna be decorating the dollhouse, making some furniture using recycled materials and other sustainable pieces that can go inside, um, adding, I think, a garden and some other elements to the dollhouse to make it feel really special. Today, I'm going to unbox it for you. If you have been considering this dollhouse and kind of want to know what does it look like um, when it comes, how hard is it to put together, all of those things, I'm going to walk you through the process with our dollhouse today. And then we'll be continuing to share about all of the different um, decorations and DIY elements that we add to the dollhouse right here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and unbox the dollhouse. So it's a pretty big package. Um, the entire dollhouse came in this one box. Um, it's heavy, but not too heavy to move around. And then when it arrived, it was actually wrapped um, with another layer of brown paper to keep it safe that we took off. Um, Cause I wanted to show my kids what was inside. They're very excited. So when you open the box, So again, um, no no plastic in any of the packaging. Everything felt like it was packed in really safely and securely um, without the need for bubble wrap or anything like that. All of the packaging is cardboard and then those two little pieces of paper. All of your hardware and smaller bits come in paper as well. Um, again, I'm gonna be saving this and trying to reuse it in creating the furniture for our dollhouse um, that we're going to build ourselves. Um, this particular box right here might be a really great option for like a place to house our garden. Um, but even if you weren't intending to make dollhouse furniture, saving boxes like this um, and cutting them down is one of my favorite things to do for my kids for crafting. Um, anything as simple as just like giving them paint and a paintbrush on a piece of cardboard is a great way to reuse packaging that comes to your home from things that you order in the mail. Um, it's easy to have, it's on hand, you don't have to spend money on it and you're putting that piece of cardboard um, to use again, giving it a second life. So keep your cardboard. Um, I will walk you through next how I'm gonna put this thing together and then show you what it looks like when it's assembled. The instructions are pictures, really clear, um, seem to be easy to understand. It's got a diagram on the first page of all your parts, labeled with letters to help you. Um, it doesn't look like you need any additional hardware, just an Allen wrench that it comes with. So everything you have is right here in the box. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so all of these pieces, there were four, went on um, just with wooden dowels. 
took a little bit of like finagling to figure out how to get them in there. Um, but then once they're in, they move on the dowels pretty easily. So you can close up the dollhouse when you're not playing with it, which is one of the things that I think I like most about the Victorian dollhouse is the, the ability to do that. So those things are all on now. And so I've gotten the stairs in place. They are really easy to put in place, no screws or anything. It's just kind of resting with some wooden dowels and using some holes in these back panels to stay in place. And then it also has these panels that you can move around to create rooms. Um, and these on the top fold in. So all you have to do is put it in the place where you want it to be and turn. And they'll pop into place so you can move those around to create different rooms on the bottom floor and the middle floor. These little pieces in here cover those holes if you wanted to take the stairs completely out and just have solid floors um, on all three floors. So I put one in the bottom, but otherwise, I think that we are done. Um, the entire process, let me look, took me a little less than 30 minutes and I did it by myself. So really not an incredibly challenging um, put together, pretty comparable to most furniture I've ever put together on my own that uses an Allen wrench. Um, very simple. Instructions are very easy to follow. Um, even though there are no words, like really clear, really understandable. So I'm excited. I'll give my kids a look when they get up and let you know what they think.